Like this video right now or you're getting 13 years of bad luck. If you want edits like this, then I definitely recommend you watching the entire video as I'll be going through the best tips and tricks and overall strategies on how to improve your editing speed and consistency in Chapter 2 Season 3. This video not only has all of those things but also some tips on how to reduce your input delay and get lower ping in this game. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Splash and I'm back here with another video. So in my recent video, I asked everybody what type of tutorial video they wanted to see uh, the most and the most requested one was an editing tutorial. Now I have done a few of these editing tutorials in the past, but this one has brand new tips and tricks and also some things that will reduce your input delay and lower your ping in Fortnite. So if you're interested, then make sure you stay tuned. Now I also recommend you guys watching the video that will be linked at the top of the description which is a video of me that was edited by my team, Team Delirium. Now I recommend you guys clicking on watching that video and um, it will definitely motivate you guys to start grinding for my team. It's a good team and if you guys want to be in the same team as me then you should, you know, start grinding for them. But anyways, if this video helped you out or you just enjoyed it in general, make sure to drop a like and maybe consider subscribing with notifications turned on as it, as it does help me out a lot. And also, if you guys want to support me even further than all of those things, you can use my supported credit code. You know, it's of course optional, you don't have to, but make sure you guys are supporting somebody out there. It doesn't have to be me, but yeah, enjoy the video. Alright boys, so the first tip is obviously going to be reduce input delay. Of course I'm going to start with that boys. So um, yeah, um, reducing your input delay will make you, you know, press every button faster. You know, the game will interact faster. It is something obvious, right? All you need to do is go into settings, go into your controls right here. Now the two, now you see three layouts, right? There's two layouts that will reduce your input delay. There's the Xbox One and the generic controls. But the Xbox One just slightly reduces it. But the generic controls reduces it a lot, like a lot. So what you want to do is just press generic, press um, triangle, and then back out. And you can see I'm on generic controls. Now when you go back to it, of course, you're going to see um, a lot of these, you know, buttons, they look a bit weird. When you go in game, you're editing binds. It's all going to be, you know, visually different but it's obviously of course going to be the same on your controller now there is a big youtuber named flea and if you're watching this video about editing editing you you, you should know flea he's a big youtuber he has like over 1 million subscribers um he made a video on this specifically to the generic controls and how it reduces your input delay so if you guys would like to watch a more in-depth video on this specific topic then you should watch flea's video but this will you know shortly explain reduce your input delay Alright, so this next tip is of course going to be about how to lower your ping in Fortnite. Now this is 100% legit, I'm going to show you guys that I actually am reducing my um, ping in Fortnite, but this does require some stuff to be able to do. You need 1000 followers on a specific platform because you need to unlock the option to do customs. Now you want to go to creative and put customs and you want to put a random code as yours, press accept. And now you want to press play. What this is going to do is basically launch you into your own custom lobby. This will be around your servers, nobody else. And that is how it is going to uh, lower your paint. I will show you guys side by side. Um, no cuts. I'm going to talk right now. You guys can see I'm not cutting the video or anything. You know what I'm saying? This is 100% legit. I want to keep it real with y'all boys. I don't even have a script for this video. Um, but yeah. So you can see I don't have my paint on my screen. So I'm going to turn it on right now. In front of you guys. Go to settings, I'm gonna go right here to my netbox stats. I'm gonna make my HUD really big now so you can see. As you can see up at top left, you can see 25, 24 ish ping. And when I go to my settings right here, auto 40 ping. So I have around 40 ping, but when I go into my custom lobby, it goes all the way down to 25, 24, and it stays there. Sometimes 26, sometimes you know a little bit above, but it stays consistent. This is such a helpful thing that will help you out with your ping so all right boys so the next tip is to turn on edit on release but hear me out before you know skip this part i have edit on release turned on and i still use my confirm button i still press it now you may be asking why splash you know that's unnecessary but it's actually not um i wanted to try edit on release once and i did it without using my confirm button now and i was editing insanely slow and then I turned my confirm button back on and started using it with edit on release and I've never edited faster ever. And I found it out that my muscle memory is so used to editing and pr pressing confirm 
that when I turned on my edit on release, I became way, way faster. So as soon as I press, you know, edit and then select and then remove select from my finger, it automatically confirms it, even if I press confirm. And it makes my editing so much faster. It looks so much smoother on my videos. So it is hard to understand, but trust me, if you do want better and faster, it is turn edit on release on and keep your confirm button, like keep using it because it will make you faster. All right, the next tip is about making builds on this one. Now, this is one of the most underrated tips I never see any YouTubers or anybody tell, but it is to practice making builds invisible. And you may be asking, especially why would I do that? You know, it is only for looks. It actually is not only for looks. It actually helps you out because you're doing something fun. You want to make it invisible. That's the challenge, here, right? So you want to start off by doing metal and then brick off course is a bit harder. So when I do this invisible and this takes about 50 seconds, that takes about 20 seconds. When you do this, you're click speed will actually improve as you're having fun doing a challenge so you're tricking your muscle memory into editing so fast that you make this visible and it will be fun because you, you're like this is the goal right you want to set a goal for yourself and that is why your editing will improve especially in, especially the click speed of your edits so just you know practice editing these now i'm not gonna make them both invisible i'm gonna try and make this one Sometimes on controller, this is very hard. I should be able to get this done though. Boom, it became invisible. Now, um, <clears throat> you see, that was the challenge here. It may take some of you guys longer to do, but this is just a good thing to do to, you know, start improving the click speed because it is, a, you know, a challenge and it is fun to do. And then you can, you know, after you've, done, you've achieved the medal, you can move on to the break, which is, a little bit harder all right boys so for this tip um you want to have your dead zone at the lowest possible so five five dead zone and they may be asked especially that's going to give me you know a lot of stick drift it's not going to help me out I'll get faster blah, blah blah let me explain why so you see the little um you know dark blue circle within the big white outlined circle that is the amount of time it takes for the st sticks to actually activate so if i just move my stick a little bit if oh, i'll do this one you see it activates immediately. I'm just moving a tiny bit. It activates immediately. So there's no delay on the sticks. But if I move this up to like 15 dead zone. You see it takes a while for it to actually activate. Therefore I will get delay on my sticks when I move them. And so when I have them at 5-5 five, five dead zone. They will interact immediately when you move them. When I build. When I edit. So you will get the less amount of stick delay as possible. Does that make sense? That should make sense in my opinion. Now you may be asking, okay, so if I have to change my um, dead zones, I have to change my sensitivities? I'd say yeah. Like, if you had a high dead zone, um, like 10-10 and, you know, high sensitivity, maybe you turn down the sensitivity and make the dead zone 5. Because when you put dead zone as, as 5, you will move a lot faster than you normally do. So you just, you know, put these down, 1, 2, maybe like 3, and you should be good to go. If you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it for real. It does help me out and I can see that you want to improve at Fortnite, so I respect it for real. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. You already know the deal. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description, the video of my team. Go check it out. It takes a few minutes, you know what I'm saying? It will mean a lot to me. Also, if you want to support me even further, use this code, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to use mine, make sure you're using someone else. It doesn't matter who it is. Just support somebody. And, and yeah, boys, peace out.